that we're going. Going somewhere. Yes. Okay, so you're supposed to remember the word Stephanie. I will. And the other thing uh -huh. is the spotlight. What spotlight? There is a spotlight which is shining directly into Deb's house. Whoa. And it must be one of this thing on the driveway. She said it's on night and day. Is that one there? It probably is. We have, we have attached no, to that tree. Yeah, we have no way of shutting it off. I didn't even know. It was, is it controlled by my house? Yeah. Well, now you tell me. Right. No, well, we've got to figure out well, how to shut that off. I'll have to try and work out. I thought that was on all the time. Well, it is on all the it time. It is on, all the time. and it's driving them crazy. Okay. So we have to figure out how to shut it off. I'll tell her we're working on it. Yeah, tell her. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was on. Well, she said it's been on for about a year. Oh, that's not my fault then. Excellent <laughs> no, <it's not>. job. <laughs> Hello, sweetness. Janine. Ooh, utilities bills, our favorite. Uh, who? Utilities. Utilities. Whoopi, can I have the opener? You certainly can. Thank you. You're going to love the amount my utility bill is. Good job. That's all right. I can do that. Right? I suppose. Over the next few months, you will notice both electric and water department staff performing necessary upgrades to our metering systems town wide. These updates include replacing meters, upgrading water meters, replacing water meters, etc. May receive a call, ba ba ba. If you have any questions, now if you notice any of them doing a super job, you're supposed to give them a gold star. A give a give a gold star. Or you could give them a gold monkey fist. I could give them a monkey fist. Yeah. Oh hello. Hello 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 hello. Not well, like if this. donating by check, I'm not donating. I'm hey. supposed to give two thousand dollars to the man. No. chasing a donkey around the field. Oh. I didn't think I was actually going to get here in time. Look at this. Is this what is this? Does this have to be a water bill? Yeah. Yes. Look at that. Oh. We are down. That's good. That's 23. I know. I know, they... No, we're up. That's a 12. 23. They usually have it backwards. They don't have it backwards. Oh, no, they, they did turn it around. There's a current. You're right there. It's there. Isn't that interesting? That's even more interesting than before. History. Yeah. Isn't it? They, they turned it... They had the grant going the other way for years. Three hundred and sixty-nine dollars. That's for water. That's a lot less than it's been. However, that does go down to service bus project. Okay. Electricity now. I think I'm winning on the electricity bill front, by the way. You'll be glad to hear. Oh really? If you was the dryer. I keep telling you. 
No, I think it's that light in the driveway that's been light right here. <laughs> No, I don't think that, uh, that's not even. That's not even. I think that's a. I don't think that's plugged into the world. I think that's a sol solar. I think it's something Bud put in. Oops. Is what I, if I'm allowed to half remember. Okay, you're gonna have that too. Well, as long as you half remember, it's fine. <laughs> and they've got this current too. And this is the guest house. This is me then. Oh, you've been dying from last month. Not by much. <laughs> they say I didn't pay last month. And this is the barn. Is that, is that you ready the for barn? yours? Oh. Same thing. Winner! <laughs> It's your own damn fault. <laughs> you haven't got any sympathy for me. No, I think I, my house is lit up like the illuminations. Well, it's not the lights that are doing it. No, it would be the heater. And I'm sure your husband will be great. Mm. Okay, and this is the one that goes down with the water bill. Put that with the water bill. Sure thing. And this is mine. Mine's is bad enough. 425, well, it's mine's double. I, oh. Mine was 167 for the month. Here, you're, you're one month. Yeah, why one month is 1,485. Yeah, see, mine's not. Mine is 167. That's, you've got to try harder. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to try harder with. Yeah. I want some washing and drying. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to bring your drying over here. <laughs> that, must, that must be Nick doing, doing all that washing and drying. I'll be having words with him. That goes with a Judy pile. Right, sure, no worries. I've got the Janine pile, the Judy pile, my pile, and service dog pile. Okay. They're piling up. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Here, heritage. Oh. oh. Is that the same company? with the deagle. It is. Thank you. It's, we got $1,500 of damage. Hmm. Oh, I was $1,000 deductible. Oh, they so they declared $3,000 damage. Okay, there must be a check in here someplace. Please. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Oh my God. Wall materials. Paper costs that they sent out here? Yep. What's this cleaning? They must feel it's neat and cleaned on the inside, which is my mess. Oh, there's a check. $1,500. This is. $1,500 this is, we didn't have before, but. Yeah. Not quite going to do it, but... Well, spe heck? especially when you've had a, what was it, a $1,000 deductible. I know. So that's the bit we have to... <clears throat> I'll put that in the duty pile. Yep. <gasps> oh! Oh, somebody opened it for me. On the edge. How good. Okay, this 
Sam Levinson. To make time fly, throw your watch out the window. Yep. All right. You're born free and then taxed to death. I've heard that one. Yep. I'm not suffering from insanity. I'm enjoying every golden minute. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. At Nothing all. wrong with that one. <laughs> now what do you got? Look, Beth Israel are sending you letters now. Oh my lord. I know. Such fun. There is more money spent on this kind of crap than than there is on a lot of other things. It's shocking the amount of paperwork. Thank you. Really shocking. There you go, you can have it. Thank you. Oh, okay, this is how to take warfarin. Well, welcome to the anti-coagulation clinic. They're a very friendly bunch. Now, the rest of the story is they tested my blood at 11 or so today. Mm -hmm. It didn't show that I had any of the shot in me that I took at 7 this morning. And I thought, Jesus, maybe I forgot, you know me, right? No, Judy says, I took it. I thought I took it, too. I took that shot at 7. It showed none in my blood at 11. Are you processing it super quick? Or? That's not supposed to happen. So I don't know. They want me to try again on Monday. With a shot? Oh, the, to continue with the shots all, you know, all have weekend. We, have we got shots? Oh, yeah. Right, okay, that's fine. Yes, when they gave you the one shot, it was they were supposed to be giving you one box. Okay. So I now have the box. Excellent. Isn't that wonderful? Your guide to Warford. Oh, you'll be playing tennis soon. Look. There you go. I used to play tennis. That was terrible. I have no hand-eye coordination. Oh. I was super too. You don't either? Oh. oh. <laughs> painful that is. Yes. Okay, so we're not gonna we're not gonna reward the money. No, that guy. No. no. But I gotta read that stuff. Okay. So you have had an extremely busy day. Well, I have had a busy day. Yes, I have. What did I do? You went to Atrium first. I went, no, not to Atrium. I went to Tra Trask over there. What was it, Trask? And before I got in, mm -hmm. this woman came through the door with her mother, both of them looking very disheveled. I shouldn't say that. They both did. Mm -hmm. A little beat up, both of them. So I, I hadn't got the dogs in yet. I was sitting in a chair, and Judy was about to let the dogs in. So I asked the woman if she wouldn't please stand back against the wall. So this, and this, the mother, the, the, what the daughter said, oh, she's fine with dogs. But then these two come barreling through the, you know, it was a little nerve wracking. And, but she was very quick and she was in a hurry and she just wanted to get out of there. And, <laughs> so after she got her mother, <laughs> hey, I don't know what that is. Stop, stop. So after, after she got her mother planted in there, she turned around and she said, oh, she said, what beautiful dog. She said, I love dogs. I said, how much do you love dogs? <laughs> she said, I would love to have a dog. I said, but we just don't have time. And, blah, 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 blah. And, she, and I said, how do you feel about horses? I love a horse. I love dogs. I even love to show them the door. I said, you're wrong, lady. <laughs> you're talking our language. You're, you're, talking, you're talking to the right person here. She said, I have six... Your it's my dog. It's Julius. I have six Excuse hours me. a day. You keep chatting. Which I would much rather be shoveling manure. And so I said, boy, are you on, lady. So I gave her our address and things and told her how to get a hold of us. I hope she does. If she's on six hours free. Oh, come on, guys. Elizabeth's dogs have gotten loose. That's what the problem is. If I had more energy, I'd get up and turn the camera to match the dogs, but come on now. At any rate, that was the start of my day, but then we went on into this daycare center where there must have been about 40 people, and those dogs went around and took two cookies from everybody and then got very thirsty and went over and tried to drink out of the water faucet. 
So we did get a dish out for them, and they had a nice long drink, and then we went home. Oh no, we didn't go home. We went to the doctors, where they took the blood test on me, and it doesn't show that I had any of this stuff in with me, which I've been shooting all for several days. And then I thought, well, maybe I did forget this morning, so I had to call Judy up and say, Judy, did I really do it this morning? And she said, yes, you did, in your upper, your upper right-hand leg. Now, what the hell is he carrying around? A blanket. Oh. Sorry, I didn't want to stand to go back. So, <clears throat> turns out I did give myself a shot, but for some reason, none of it showed in my blood test. Not me, I did it. So you're not starting the warfarin? I am starting the warfarin. Oh. I'm, I'm warfarin. I'm right. supposed to use both of them for a couple days, and they're going to test the warfarin and the lovinox to see mm -hmm. how we're doing, and then they can back out the injectable. Right. It's very kind. The only exciting thing that did happen once when I did wasn't injecting me. It was not this morning, but it has happened that I checked that stuff in and it all kind of squirted out, or at least some did. Yeah. But that was not this morning. It comes out squirting out the little hole I made with a needle. Yeah. That's a pretty damn little needle. Well, thank goodness it's a little needle, because anything bigger it'd be quite sore. It's already sore. Yeah. This, this hurts. Yeah. Even though I grabbed the fat, the guy had told me grab the fat. So I grabbed the, I got a lot of fat, grab the fat, and shoot it. Well, you know the good thing is that means you've not got enough fat, okay? Okay, I'll so, with you on that. Yeah, you, you get working on that. How did you make out with the cake? It was delicious. Thank that was you. a delicious cake. Although the bit I was trying to get off for you, it was like a pickaxe. I'm really sorry. I made a right royal mess of it. It was very good. I don't care what it looked like. No, it was. It was delicious. Thank it's you so good, much. Was, I like that. I like the vanilla too. Yes. The, it, it, that was a nice cake. I took it home and I left it in the microwave. Where did you left? I don't know because my children are at home, probably not. That means if there is, I'll bring some back over. I was trying to keep some for Carly and Mike. And um, and I came in and my children were, it, because we ate out quite a bit later last night, my children were in picking the icing. <laughs> it, it, was, it, was, it was pure sugar. I know. You know. I was oh. a little stinkers. <sighs> That's probably what kept them going till dinner time. So then, that means you're going back, is it Monday to the hospital? Mm -hmm. You're going back on Monday to the mm -hmm. hospital? Right. I know, when there's a job to do, and I don't know how we're going to go around it, but we'll get, we'll manage. Well, Carly's here as well. Um, well what, who is it? Monday. It says New, Newburyport. Is that just the one up the road? Yeah. Is it? Oh, that's the Newbury Fort Council on Aging. Carly and I went to that one last time, and uh, so I put in. I said to I said to the maps, Newbury Fort Council on Aging, and they took me to the Salvation Army, and then they redirected me. These three men were sitting down having breakfast. I said, I'm terribly sorry. I said, I don't think this is the Council on Aging, is it? And he went, No. He said, We used to be here, and they gave me their address, so we tootled off. Okay. Yeah. So. You so, and Charlie? Carly. Oh, Carly. Yeah, we're experts. <laughs> okay. Well, you may end up doing it Monday, yeah. too. We're experts at getting there in the end. <laughs> How's the hay working out? It's looking nice. Good hay. Nice and heavy. Yeah. It's got an upside and a downside. Because when it's that are high... You, are you counting it? I am. Oh. And I've got it organized in a way. Good. So... Yeah, I have a feel. you got a problem. Yep. So I think it's, uh, it's nice hay as well, and they're all quite happy with it. Good. Quite excited to see it, and uh, and then did your lady come from Rotary? Yes, the lady came from Rotary. Lady, she's about one fourth my age, <gasps> if that. Very nice gal, and she's trying to start a business of her own, oh. all by herself. And so I had a lot of advice to give her on that one. About she really needs to come up with a mission statement to get her five hundred one c three. Oh, what kind of business is she looking for? She, well, she, she, she has worked at, at these nursing homes, and she sees that they're a problem, Yeah. as, as we do. Uh, and so she has started driving, mm -hmm. giving people, you know, go to wherever they want to go or whatever. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of complications to that. But, mm -hmm. but she, she's got to come up with a really clear and clever 
mm. mission statement to get her her 501c3. And then we talked about the various problems you have with it, like trying to make sure that one that one third the general public are supportive. Do you know that problem? No. On that 990 that you have to fill out all the time, mm -hmm. you have, I think it's either three or five years to prove that the general public will support you. Yeah. One third. Yeah. So if you don't make that 33%, you're going to lose your 501c3. That's right. So it becomes a really critical mess yeah. of saying the public gave you more and saying you donated less. Yes, that's why we've got limits to how much we can put in. Yes, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, it's not like it's you just not, don't talk about it. Keep no. pouring it in, but yeah, you know. it's it's not like you can turn around and say there's a bit of a problem. This 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 uh, quarter, we better all get our hands in our pockets. It's yeah, uh, no. we can't do that. Well, you could do that. You just can't deduct it. No, you can't say it's a donation. It's a gift. Yeah. Right. So it's a yeah. Or we, or we buy uh, extra wee bits and pieces. <laughs> right. Well, we, yeah, I, I know I know it falls. Because way back at the beginning, when I, before everybody decided I had to prove I was going to live for five years, which oh. is what caused the whole problem, by having to have a lease and a, all this crap that I really didn't think was necessary, um, I did have someone give me an estimate on renting the entire place. Mm -hmm. And they said that the whole place, me gone, everything, would be worth $60,000 a year. Mm -hmm. So that at that point, I had 50 or 60 dogs on the property, and we were using everything, everything. except my bedroom and bathroom. Mm -hmm. And even times we used the bathroom. But at any rate, um, so, but they, I, I, so I could deduct the 60000 a year. Mm -hmm. But... You can't do that when your income is not nearly that. Yeah. You know, so I mean, you get into a point where you've deducted so much that you get the rest to carry it forward for the next 75 years uh -huh. or something, and it's, it gets to be pointless to try and deduct yeah. anything. You, you just don't worry about the bail and pay. Yeah. No. You know, you can't, you can't deduct it. You just pay it. Yeah. You know, and so that's why my records went to hell because... There was no point in keeping track of every penny I spent for a service dog project because it wasn't going to do me the slightest bit of good. It no. was just a lot of bookkeeping for what? Yeah, exactly. So we didn't do that. No. So she's wanting to start a business transporting people places they would like to go yeah. and she, she should come down here. I know. I told her that. Yeah. I said she had to come up with some kinky fun thing. Mm -hmm. If she could get two or three people together in the back seat, whatever, um, and, and have a mystery trip. Or, they come out in the pedicabs. Right. Right. Bring them out here for a golf club, right? Yeah. You know, uh, it's something stupid like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good thing. Well, I hope she does well. Yeah. And then she left, and then you've been left your own. She devices. gave me twenty dollars for hay. Oh, that was very kind of her. Judy Ben. That's Judy Ben. Yep. That was very kind of her. That's super. And yeah, I, I explained to her that, as far as I was concerned, she could get her support from normal people who would be donating mm -hmm. five to ten dollars. And she was not going to, she was really going to waste her time writing all these grants. She thought it was simple to get a grant. No. I said, I don't think, I don't think we've gotten any, have we? We haven't applied for any. We have, you're wrong. Did we? Well, maybe you, you're I wrong. I don't apply for anything. I don't no. do the finances. Well, I know, but I don't think ERN, if they've applied for things, it's been a waste of time. I don't, I don't know. I, I think ERN is in a very fortunate position in that we are, funded by donations. Yeah, that's the thing. You're going to get your money from donations yeah. by doing a good job. Yeah. And you do a good job and the crowd will come up behind you. But don't go for these people who say, well, if you let me sell you t-shirts, you'll make a fortune. No, you won't. 
No, I, I you think go broke selling t-shirts. I think one of the one of the distinct um, advantages that uh, Janine has had with ERN is that she's been so ensconced in the horse world, yeah, and is so knowledgeable. You know, going back a long. Uh, yeah, you can't fight with her knowledge. On no, horses. you can't. And so she's got all the connections, and everybody knows she's doing something for a very genuine reason, etc., yeah. etc. Et and a lot of people in this area have rescue horses, donkeys, mules, and things that have come in through ERN. So, yeah. you know, so that's a very natural progression. Not yeah. to say it hasn't been a lot of hard work. Um, oh yeah. So, so it is. I, I can imagine starting afresh. Is, is yeah, extremely it's a, difficult. It, it's tough. Yeah. I can remember back panicking over this 33% deal. Yeah. Because that must have been a really new concept to people having Great Danes as service dogs. Oh, they, there were none. I was yeah, crazy. Because you wrote the program. And, and, and the history I had behind me of going out and falsifying blue ribbons, <laughs> that didn't help me. That didn't help me at all. Well, maybe not discuss that. Not today. <laughs> you can buy those damn blue ribbons. They cost 15 cents each. <laughs> sure, we could make them ourselves? Yes. <laughs> no, you can't. They make the good ones. And you buy yourself a big one, they're more than 15 cents. Oh, right, okay. I mean, those are a couple dollars. It's getting expensive I only bought the little ones. <laughs> I had 100 blue ribbons. That did be a lot of good. <laughs> Excellent. I alienated more people with that. <laughs> the, the, the entire AKC and all the people who show dog absolutely hate me. <laughs> you know? But that's the breaks of the game. I think that's the problem. You can't please everyone. That's true. And, uh, but I was only interested in improving the dogs would do a damn good job for somebody. Mm. And they have done that. They have. So I quit go on and do the next thing. Yes. Ah, okay. Right. Oh. I got the we I got the manure wagon fixed. I know. She never noticed it. She <laughs> That's a pretty big. It's a pretty big wagon. You wouldn't want to carry the camera over and show it, would you? No, because when I do that and okay. I turn it round, it does something funny and then it stops broadcasting. Oh well, we won't do that. And you know, it's a pretty big. It's word. a very big wheelbarrow. I think they'll probably see it in action. <laughs> it's, it's about three foot by four foot or yep. five foot. It's, it's, it's a big thing. It's substantial. Substantial. Yes. That's a good word. <laughs> you could I may have some of the, the the wheels on back where Judy pointed it out to me that the little stem that you fill them up with. Uh huh. I don't know if I got them all on the outside. But you'll find about 50% of them Well, on. if the wheels come off, I am now an expert. We're putting them back That's on because right. I had to fix the one in Meredith yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. What? Those are split pins, aren't they? Split pin? The pin that you put in and then you Take twist it, it yeah. back. Is, yeah. it, is that not called a split pin? No. What's a cotter pin? A cotter pin, right? Yeah. So I call that a split pin. Okay. So, of course, I'm in the co-op saying, so I'm looking for a, a split okay. pin for my wheelbarrow. And they're like, uh. What is that? And I'm like, you know, one of those pins. It looks like a Kirby grip. You know the, you, you know the things. Know the, and and you know, you lost in translation. I'm like, right, my wheel has fallen off. It needs the bit that goes through, and you flick the end up. And you went, that's exactly right. That's what you called it, a cotter pin. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find it. A but nail will work. Yeah, if I could have found a blinking nail. You know what? We're constantly picking up nails and screws. Can you find one when you need one? No. Grab that jar right there at that top. Have you got a whole load in them? Bring that over here to me. And these ones you just happen to pick up along the way. <laughs> yes. Okay, I got oh, it. It's heavy. This is what I carry with me. And I don't care what kind of nail you're looking for. You have it in there. You've got it in here. You know, you've got it. You know, some of everything in here. I'd actually thought about putting one of these because we yeah, could... Yeah, well, it'll work for a little but bit. It worked. But some, some of these things don't bend. I mean, this is not a good thing to bend. It, it's bend a little bend, bit now. Bit, but, but not enough. Not enough. But you want a regular nail, you know, you can bend it. Yeah. Like that. that oh, no, that's, that's, not cool. that's a screw. Door but I'd find one. That would probably work a little bit. Yeah. You know, there's things in here you wouldn't believe. 
What was that? Nails. There's a whole bunch of nails. Now all of those. But much. Those are finished nails. Ooh. You know? So that's I carry that around the back of my car. Just in the old Every chance. once in a while, it saves the day. Exactly. Oh. So, thank you very much for the anniversary wishes. I said to I said to Nick this morning, it's our anniversary. So it's your anniversary? I said along all those lines. Yeah. And I said to and Nick said to me, um, he said, you know, you should go down and see Janine and Aiken, or you should go to auction together. You know, because that's a nice, a nice, exciting thing to do. I'm like, oh, thanks very much, Nick. That's very kind. And uh, and I said to him, well, you know, I'm a bit busy just now. You know, I, I can't really go because there's so much to be done. And, you know, and he went, and he went, right. He said, but you can get someone to cover for you. And I'm like, oh, no, no, I meant in the house. And he went, you don't do anything in the house anyway. He said, why would you be bothered by that? And I'm like, right, okay. How romantic. You don't do it. I do some things. I like shower. I, I brush my teeth. Good. I do them in the house. There you go. Yeah. So. Yeah, wait. I was going to say something. Oh, Janine invited me down to Aiken. I knew, I heard. If I leave, is that, is, is I, am I going to be missed at all? Or I may as well go? No, I actually think you should go get a bit of nice sunshine and supervise Janine for a week. Don't bother well, Janine. Yeah, well, no, no, but I actually think that's a really nice thing to do. It, it could be nice. Because you can I'm go not sure I can uh, because of this blood business, but... Uh, well, if you have got the opportunity to go, I would go and take it. Yeah. Because you can travel with Jimney, and then yep. we can maintain the other two. Well, that's the problem with these other two. Have we got to take them to nursing homes and things? And make we could probably, to... Between Carly and I, and if Judy's still here, we could probably yeah. do that, yes. Yeah, she would because she just fly out of back. She likes to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of You're anything worse. To fly. I hate it. <laughs> no, I'm not a fan <laughs> of flying. Oh. I'd rather drive. I well, can't drink with this stuff oh. I'm taking. So I'm really going to hate to fly. <laughs> you can't fortify Zyrtec, it. Zyrtec it is then. <laughs> uh, well, but it's a nice opportunity to go down it and is, see I, that. I, it is. I think. And, um, because I'm looking forward to going down to see it. And then uh, you, you and Janine can do mail chat from there. Right. Without the mail. Well, you can come down with with Larky. Yeah. Mr. Larky. Larky pants. But then nobody would be left here. No, exactly. <laughs> no. I, I'm really not good for anything except in a disaster I probably could come up with how to solve it. Yeah. But it's a nice it's a nice opportunity yeah. to go down and see there and the weather's a bit better. I've never seen either daughter house. Oh, there you go. Kill two birds with one stone. One flight. Right. And you've done it. I have done it. Okay. okay. Keep, but we do mail call keep, from there. That was. Yeah. I said I can't go without mail call. So they, they yeah. Because Janine's got this all on her phone. She can do this too. Yeah. And you're all sorted. I don't understand the word. Anyway. It will be sorted. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is insurances. Yes. Oof. No. Oh, there was a question up here. Where am I? Any plans for the weekend? Of course we've got plans. We just don't know what they are yet. Right. Um, have you got people coming in this weekend? What's happening? I don't think so. No, you should be fine. Tomorrow, um, Kate and I are going to Dover Saddlery um, to get a, a particular pitchfork because um, we kind of broke one. And we were going up there because they've got a bargain basement and we might be looking for a smaller sized blanket I'm not sure why you're going to Dover Saddlery. Because but... we're going for a wee date. We, we want to go down to, you know, the, the reduction basement. Okay. That's where because we're they going. have that state line tack, which is... Where's that? It's right on the... I believe it's right on the... It's right off 9, 1, 125. Oh, we'll do both. Yeah, well, that's I, That's what I'm saying. State line tack. I didn't know there was one up here. That's where it started. Ah. What time's the 125? You're coming out of Haverhill toward Playstow. Oh, good. Yeah, you want, that's where it, Dover Saddlery is up there. Yeah, that's excellent. That's very good. It's, there, you come to a fork in the road. That'll do us. It, 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 
I think it's the only, it's a small town, you know, you're dealing yeah. with here. Yeah. You've got the main road, 125, and there's a small fork off it to the left, and that goes down to Saddle And it? it's got a whole lot of shops, hasn't it? Yeah. It's, it's like a big, yeah. one of these sort of towns that you go to and there's big shops, isn't yeah. it? Well, that's what, that's what we're doing tomorrow morning. And then at midday, we're having a meeting with uh, Cameron, who is also known as Cam. It's the gentleman um, who comes in and volunteers for us. Uh, he works with the horses and the oh, yeah. um, equine therapy. So we're having a meeting with him. Oh, I know another thing I did today. What else did you do? After you finished with your, he's working with the equine thing. Mm -hmm. This woman that came in today, she works with handicapped people. And there is a woman she helps take care of who can't get in her bed because her legs don't bend. She has an awful time mm -hmm. swinging her legs up into it because her legs don't bend, and she has nothing to hold on to. And nothing, and she's thinking of this stuff, mm -hmm. you know, didn't really, and she saw the rope. She said, oh, that would work. I said, fine. I said, over there on that mm -hmm. rack, there's a bunch of them. Why don't you take one and try it? So, she, <laughs> so she's away with one of our ropes. She's away with one of your ropes. Right, well, you better get that replaced because I'll notice <laughs> you weren't using it. Well, they keep ending up. I think what happens is they go on a dog, they go on a horse, and then they get left in the spill. No, this, this is one of the great big expensive fat things. Oh. That was supposed to be somebody's cross tie. Oh. And you never took it, so she's got it now. No, no, get... no, no. Those are the cross ties that were too long. So that's fine. We brought them back. Oh, well, there you go. So she can have two. Well, <laughs> <laughs> she can swing from one to swing the other. Swing to the other. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I told her if she didn't use it, she was to bring it back. Yeah, because they're super. They they're are. Re they're really good. They're expensive. They're like twenty-five dollars a foot. I know for that rope. Yeah. Yeah. It's very expensive. And uh, the oh. bottom end is all chewed up by puppies. Yeah, because they used to hang in the kitchen with the oh, puppies. Right. Okay. They're really good ropes, though. Yes, they are. And then tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Cameron is going to do a bit of training with Ava and because um, we're all about training and being very inventive at the moment and we've got lots of barn cleanup going on because oh, good time. no it, I mean where is my snow frozen weather and winter I mean you still got that draft horse harness down there hanging on the there's one down there yes that's a pretty harness that would look nice on one of your mules have you asked Ted Huh? He asked Ted, as soon oh. as I bring a saddle out, he goes lame. He's like, oh God, look. <laughs> like, it would have to be Betty. Well, <laughs> she's the better on her. It would, because she's lovely. Yes, we could try that. That'd be a fun thing to do. Have, so. we got, have we got anything to pull with it? No, we walk around behind it. Yeah. It looked like a farmer. Yeah. She would do a good job because she's very well behaved. We, if, if we really got to it, she could drag the pastures. Yeah. Yeah, she's really steady. Yeah. Ted's well, you not. don't want her to run away with the No, pastures. she wouldn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> but she got blinders on. Yeah, she's a she's a good girl. She would do a do she would do a good job. The male mules, no. Oh. I'm far too temperamental at the moment. Okay. So Oh. Is was it an INR test you had today? Yes. It says gentleman Joe, he's had lots of those and he does International something or other. Oh. <laughs> I think he's had a stomach that uh, he said that your stomach looks at like someone's gone after you with a baseball bat. That's that's <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah, she's wearing three today. Three. Oh, these? I've been giving them away. Okay, yes. I have a whole new bunch of nurses and things to give them to. Yes. Oh. Oh. And this lady has won one of your monkey fists on a school lanyard, and the, our little ones love it. <laughs> and people have. Uh, this lady has two white ones holding kitchen windows curtains, the, the bigger ones, I think. I have a lot of monkey fists. 
So people are asking, this lady, Diane, she said that her favourite story is how you met Dr. White. And, uh, and then this other lady is saying, how did she meet Dr. White? I hate to say it, but I was a patient. <laughs> I think if that happened in Brittany, he'd be excluded from the <laughs> rafters. <laughs> yes, the big wheelbarrow, you built the last one. And um, the big wheelbarrow actually goes through, um, oops, hold on a second. The big wheelbarrow goes through Carlene's cabin door on its side. Yes, it does. Yes. And there's a still five or so bolts down there that need tightening. Yeah. I've got them marked with white with tape. White tape. Yeah. My wrench wasn't big enough. And I didn't even get to the bottom of that pit. My toolbox. We'll be fine. I, you know, I might get to it eventually, but I haven't yet. I would be worried what you'll find. It's just there long enough, I'll probably get around to it. Or somebody will knock it over and you'll go, oh, there's what I was looking for. No. I knew I had it. Well, you won't need to miss Carlene because Carlene, if she goes down to Janine's for a week, she'll still be doing mail chat. <laughs> We've got it all organised. We're good like that. <laughs> oh, dear. So this lady's asking if it's safe to fly with blood clots. And I would, I, go ahead. And I would think you would obviously consult one's doctor. I obviously did. Excellent. And he said he could see no reason medically why I shouldn't drive. If Are I you flying the plane now? <laughs> he said the rest of it was up to my family about whether I was hitting things. And I said, well, no. I, I said if I hit three things in one day, I'm to stop driving. And I haven't hit anything in a long time. Well done. Well done. I said, besides, I'm the only one that can back up a horse trailer. They, exactly. They don't want to stop me. Exactly. Driving. Exactly. And will you be okay to fly with blood well, clots? That's another problem. Yeah. Yeah. And warfarin. And warfarin. Well, the warfarin should control it. Well, what's it controlling? It can get Not out the of plane, anyway. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, nope, there's not lots of stairs at Janine's. It's uh, stairs. Stairs. No, she'll be fine. Anyway, she's got a painting job to do. So, right. or supervise. She'll, she'll be fine. And it's far nicer weather, apparently. So I'm told. Apparently. It's not white on the ground. No, no. And I think the sun comes out and it gets a bit hot in the middle of the day. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. There'll be sun. So, think about is Sandy coming up to see you this time? She said she's coming up. Right. There you go. That'll be exciting. It will be. We'll need to tidy. Huh? We'll need to tidy. We'll miss the tidy. We'll need to tidy. Oh, we will. She she had the cleanest house I've yeah, ever been I in. Yeah, I know. We better start this soon. This is the other extreme. And she will bring two dogs with her. So then I'd have five in here. At which point we'll be deploying extra space somewhere. Yeah. Because we're good like that. Well, I don't know. We need more crates or something. We get around it somehow. Yeah. It's Monday a holiday. What? Monday apparently is a holiday. It's a holiday? Hmm. Okay. It, it is. It's Aaron Red Ink or something, isn't it? See the 19? What's it oh. say right there? President's Day. President's Day. Hey, I'm on the wrong week. It's actually benchmark. <laughs> Today is the 16th. No, it's the 19th. No, is it? Today is the 16th. That day is the 19th. Yeah, okay. we're just and it's not Thursday either. I'm not doing very well. Yes, okay. Wrong place, wrong week. Sort that out later. Uh. Oh! Carla Hinson, who was just with us, she can drive down and see you in Aiken. Oh, good. That would be nice. That would be lovely. Oh, you will probably see Ava and Cameron on cam. Um, don't tell Ava, though. She's very good. She's very calm. 
So the INR, that's correct, it measures your clotting factor. Correct. Yeah. Mm. They have a portable testing unit. Ooh. Is that like the way that you... Pinch your finger. That you do with um, blood glucose yeah. stuff. Yes, we're very um, excited about the community outreach and um, and we've got lots of plans for updating everybody, you know, what we're doing with the veterans and the horses. <coughs> and Carlino will obviously just be car carrying on with the dogs and the minis and the chickens and the goat. <sighs> it would be lovely to see Sandy, that was quite right. That would be hysterical. She's now taking dancing lessons, I'm told. I couldn't get that video up. Was it, is it on Facebook? It's somewhere, okay. I don't know. So I think we but have Several people were talking about it, and it must be funny. Yeah, we'll have to have a look for it. We can look at the computer. She does thing. not walk well without those dogs. So she's taking dancing lessons with two dogs? I don't know, but she, she might, you never know. Oh no. Yes, they are my mucking boots. Can you smell them? Look. <laughs> the cupboard. Not a problem. No, it doesn't bother. I actually am. Um, it is time to vacuum this floor though. It doesn't look like a problem to me actually, but if I, you say so. It's almost, I can almost do it myself. Look at you getting all house proud. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm, I might, I might manage to vacuum the floor. Yeah, let me see if I can find this um, on Facebook, this Sandy's video. That would be see nice. if I can find that. Well, that's us for Friday, and this week since it's now Friday. Is it Friday? Yes, apparently so, yes. Now that we've got the right week in the calendar. Uh -huh. Now that we've got the right week in the calendar. Okay. Oops. Um, yes. Okay. So, but you're not going down, you're not thinking about going down till March, is that right? I don't know, they've got to get me stabilised. Yeah, first before so it I... wouldn't be till March. I know, and like that the weather's going It could be snowstorms here I in know. March, you know that. Know. In April. In April. Shh. No. No bad language. Okay, so now we worry about what I'm going to eat next. Oh, yes. I oh. don't know what's in there. There's some of that chicken that Donna bought on Wednesday. Well, that would be good. Is it, did you finish all the fish? I finished the fish for lunch. Right. I've got to go get you pellets. Who? Pellets. Pel oh, pellets, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've got enough for overnight. No, I'm going to go and get them now. How are you? Oh, huh. okay. And for a wee trip to Tractor Supply. We better get there before they close then. At nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stacks of time. I'm going to get okay. bring Why don't you get a car full? At least we'll have them in the car. If we don't get them in the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Get three, the three bags full. Yeah, I'll do that. To find where we. But at least we have my charge card to do that. Uh, at least we can keep going back and forward. So okay. we'll be just fine. So we'll see you all on Monday, and uh, tell you all the exciting things we've done over the weekend. Yes. We think. Oh, night night. <laughs>